Hey guys, Lynette with the Red Carpet Report. We're at the Beverly Hilton for the Humane Society Annual Genesis Gala. It's change for animals. We're going to talk to a bunch of people, a lot of celebrities, and you know what? By the end, you're going to be inspired to get involved. Come on, let's go check it out. I'm Linda with Red Carpet Report. Nice to meet you. Hi, Leilani. Need for Speed, NASCAR driver, and an animal lover, I'm assuming. I am. I'm, I'm one of three vegan race car drivers that I know of right now. There could be more, but right now I know there's at least three of us. Now, why is the Humane Society, why is it a cause that's very important to you? Because these animals don't have a voice, and we need to be a voice for them. Um, there's billions of animals that are suffering every year. And I think everybody has, you know, the responsibility to step up and, and speak out about it, whether you're an actor or whether you're an athlete of some sort or whether you're a race car driver. Um, it's just important for people to become more aware of the suffering that's taking place. And I think when people become aware, it becomes impossible then to continue on ignoring, you know, those choices. And there's 600 million vegetarians on the planet now, so it's really taking off. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina because of my racing. That's kind of the hub of racing. When I moved there 10 years ago, there were no vegan restaurants. Now there's three vegan restaurants in my town. So um, I think that's a testament to the fact that people are waking up and changing. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, for our viewers who wanted to get involved, what would you recommend they do? Like, what's the one thing that they can start to do? I mean, the way that I have learned about a lot of these issues has been watching documentaries. Um, I recommend seeing Forks Over Knives. I recommend seeing The Cove. I recommend seeing The End of the Line. Um, I recommend seeing Earthlings. Um, all of these films have the power to change people. I mean, I, I know I showed Earthlings to one of my neighbors a couple of months ago, and she hasn't eaten meat since. Um, she was a big time meat eater. She ate meat every day up until she saw that movie, and now she hasn't touched it. So I think. Film and media has a real powerful effect on people. Um, and once you open your eyes to that, you can never unsee it again. And you never go back to being the same person again. So that's what I recommend. I mean, it's an easy thing to do. You just hit play on Netflix or whatever and, and just sit back and learn and you'll be changed. Absolutely. Wonderful. Now, when are you racing next? Where, when can we see you? So my next race car is actually going to be a vegan race car. It's called the Veg Nation race car. Nice. And uh, it'll be run somewhere later this year. We don't know exactly when or where because it depends on how quickly we raise the funds. Okay. Um, but it's going to be a race car promoting plant-based diet to the 75 million race fans in the U.S. And it's not just going to be a race car. I'm also going to have a tent with a vegan chef cooking vegan food, giving it away to the race fans so they can taste it for themselves. Wow, sounds fantastic. Now, our viewers, if they wanted to follow you online, do you have an online presence? I do. Um, my website is carbonfreegirl.com, and uh, I'm on Facebook and Twitter as well, so they can Wonderful. Have an amazing night, and thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Hi, guys. Thanks for watching. No, not hi, guys. Thanks for watching. I got it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And you guys, adopt, adopt, adopt. Bye.